we cannot form a final and adequate concept of human nature, without coming upon the free spirit, as its purest expression. After all, we are human in the fullest sense only in so far as we are free. But it is obvious that many of our actions are compelled from outside and are not free. What if freedom is just an ideal? Something that can never be realized? Freedom is a real element working within us. That expresses itself, each time we search for ideals. Our life is made up of free and unfree actions. The concept of the free spirit is, to begin with, not realized in our lives. Only by our own effort, do we unite the concept of the free spirit with the way we live our life. This we can do, only if we have found the concept of the free spirit. That is, if we have found the concept of our own self. How can anyone expect to be free, if they don't know what freedom is? I want to learn what freedom is, how can I learn about freedom? Everyone has in them the possibility of transforming themselves. Just as the plant seed contains the possibility of becoming a complete plant. The plant transforms itself because of the objective law inherent in it. But the human being remains undeveloped, unless he transforms himself through his own power. This he can only do, if he has found the concept of the free spirit. Nature makes me merely a natural creature. Society makes me law-abiding. But only I, can make myself into a free being. Nature releases me from her chains at a stage in my development. Society carries this development a step further. I alone can give myself the final polish. Because I have found, the concept of the free spirit. Where can I find, the concept of the free spirit? There are two kinds of morality. Morality based on law, and morality based on freedom. Free morality, does not consider the free spirit to be the only form of human existence. It sees in the free spirit, the last stage of human evolution. Obeying rules has its only justification as a stage of development. But this cannot be accepted as the highest level of morality. The free spirit overcomes rules in that he does not just accept what is decreed, but acts according to his own intuitive impulses. Duty contains nothing lovable or endearing, but demands submission. Duty sets up a law, before which my own preferences, my thoughts and feelings go silent, though they secretly work against it. Freedom contains what is ethically most lovable, all that my humanity values the most, and makes me the servant of no one. Buy this book at Amazon Books and find the concept of the free spirit.